an MIT study found that 95% of companies investing in generative AI report no return on their investment. 95% of all that money that is getting poured into developing AI in companies is having no impact on the bottom line. And we saw NVIDIA fall 3.5%, Palantir dumped 10%, NASDAQ dropped over 1.2%. That's the steepest decline since August. So what is going on here? The big four that these big, they each have invested a billion dollars each. That, that's well, pretty they say scary that news. They're, that's they say that they're investing a billion dollar each. Yeah. yeah. I mean, well, so, but that's good news if you're a worker, right? Is like, um, if you are like, I would not be worried at this point about AI taking my job. And I don't believe any of these reports that say that AI is automating like 80% of jobs. Like what jobs are getting automated by AI at this point? It's just not good enough. So I found this MIT study, you know, really fascinating. And I'm curious, like, why are these AI initiatives failing? If you own an accounting firm or you run an accounting firm, like you want to know if your investment is going to pay off. So maybe the study can tell us what is happening where they're not seeing a return. And MIT did some analysis of this. And there are some patterns as to why these companies aren't getting a return. There's a learning gap in poor integration. These generic tools, these out-of-the-box chatbots, they don't learn from or adapt to company-specific workflows. So you can get them through the pilot stage, but actually implementing them in a systematic way doesn't happen because everybody is using them individually. So the chatbots just rolling out ChatGPT to everybody at your company, you're not necessarily going to be able to attribute more ROI or you know revenue from that. So I think that's part of the problem is it's not integrated into the workflow. And that's what really has to happen to make AI really powerful in your business, to really up productivity, to eliminate the need to hire people. And that's what we've done at Earmark. We have embedded AI tasks in our human workflow. So eight of the tasks might be human and two of the tasks are AI. And we're gradually increasing more and more of the tasks to be AI tasks. So if your company doesn't have a defined workflow, like a checklist process that you follow for the things you do, you can't really benefit from the AI because you can't slot it in to these tasks. 